God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be made known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Welcome to Prayers for Tuesday in Holy Week. And a particular welcome to those who are not regular members of St Oswald's, but have uh, in the last few days become virtual members. We welcome you. We begin with a psalm, and the psalm is Psalm 27. And I invite you to join with me in saying the Gloria at the end. The words will appear on the screen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord, and lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not hand me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Today's Bible reading is taken from the first letter to the Corinthians, the first chapter, and beginning at the 18th verse. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent, I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased 
through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. The canticle is the song of Christ's glory. It's taken from the letter to the Philippians. And the picture that you will see is a sketch by Rembrandt of Christ washing his disciples' feet at the Last Supper. At the end of the canticle, I invite you to join with me in saying the words of the Gloria, which will appear on the screen. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. For the intercessions, I'm going to use another prayer from Nick Fawcett's free e-book for such a time as this. And if you would like a copy of the book, uh, the website will appear at the end of this service. This prayer is called for those struggling due to this crisis and those seeking to help them. So many are worried, Lord, calm their fears. So many are hurting, tend their wounds. So many are grieving, comfort them. So many are lonely, Assure them of your presence. So many are vulnerable. Protect them. So many are struggling to make ends meet. Provide for them. So many are despairing. Encourage them. So many are sick. Heal them. So many are seeking to bring help to those infected, equip and enable them. So many are looking to defeat this disease, guide them. So many are in need, Lord, and so many more soon will be. Reach out to them in love, tenderness and mercy and see them safely through. Amen. And now the Collect for Passion Tide. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
And now I invite you to join with me in saying the Lord's Prayer. At the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.